Shalom, brothers and sisters. Every time I talk about the WEF, I get really tense. <laughs> the things I'd like to say, but I can't. WEF wants to slaughter millions of pet cats and dogs to fight climate change. Yes, you heard me correctly. The World Economic Forum has recently launched a controversial new initiative that will have animal rights activists up in arms. The World Economic Forum is calling for millions of cats and dogs worldwide to be slaughtered in an effort to reduce the carbon paw print that they produce as a result of eating meat. So, I mean, come on, what about predators in the wild? Yeah, in the Kruger National Park, the lion eats the zebra, he needs to be slaughtered because he eats meat. Animals have been doing that. That is their role for forever. How evil and twisted is this generation that they can get away with rubbish like this? Anyway, back to the news. The WF has ordered mainstream media outlets to begin pushing the narrative and wants to introduce an international policy that will require the majority of pet owners to euthanize their animals. CNN always at the forefront in pushing globalist agenda has begun urging viewers to starve their pets to death in an effort to combat climate change. So, first you want to kill them, now you want to starve them. So we want to be cruel at the same time. This shows you who your leaders are. CNN published an article on their website recently entitled, Our Pets Are Part of the Climate Problem. These tips can help you minimize their carbon paw prints. Sounds so cute. In the article, the liberal sadists at CNN argue that the meat-heavy diet of many household pets is causing planet-warming gases to be released into the atmosphere. Don't get me started on this whole story. <coughs> Responsible pet owners should trade in their best friend for a turtle. Snakes, turtles and reptiles have a really low impact, CNN suggests. Now, I as a rule don't follow CNN because I know who they are and media outlets like that. But it is interesting now and then to see what the bee system is saying about itself. They'd like me to get cozy with snakes and reptiles. I wonder why. Ah, huh, what does that remind me of? Anyway, no, let's carry on. Your kitty cat and pooch, CNN explains, are going to have to eat bugs just like you, assuming Klaus Schwab allows you to keep them in the future. Bloomberg, another mouthpiece of the global elite, jumped on the bandwagon, urging pet owners to let their pets die to fight inflation. Just let them die. Hollywood celebrity Emma Thompson went further, telling pet owners to eat their own pets to survive the climate crisis. Eat your best friend. We know they're like making human meat derivatives and things already, so... Yeah. Not too shocking, but still. The proposed policy was met with outrage by animal rights groups and pet owners who argue it's unethical and unnecessary. Many are concerned about the lack of consultation with pet owners before this dramatic decision was made. Why would they consult with us? Despite the backlash, the WEF maintains that this measure is necessary as it believes reducing the number of pets around the world will reduce global warming and other environmental issues caused by overpopulation. It claims the policy will reduce animal cruelty, because we're starving them to death and letting them die. It's not cruel. It will ensure no pet is subjected to neglect or mistreatment. What? Hello? Is anyone even listening to how they're wording this? They, even they are not making sense. George Orwell warned us about these times. He said they would convince us that war is peace. And he's right. And now they're trying to convince us that euthanizing pets reduces animal cruelty. Only time will tell if this controversial policy is adopted by countries around the world. But one thing's for sure, pet owners will not go down without a fight. Agreed. But let me just dig into this a bit deeper quickly from another perspective. We have pets because in this cruel world where everyone's out for themselves the way it's been designed right now dog eat dog world to use a pet metaphor that this place has become having pets is a big source of comfort 
and connection, especially for old people whose kids have moved off into this crazy world and not staying in touch with them. They have pets that they can bond with and connect with. For children to learn empathy, kindness, caring for another living creature, all those things that are good that we get from having pets in good ways, they would strip away from you. Why? So that you have no comfort, no encouragement, no love, no tenderness, nothing in your life. And they can control your depression and your isolation. This is the recipe to control large multitudes of people. Keep them holed up, depressed, sad, and controlled by someone who apparently has all the answers. So that's my take on this. They're just trying to remove one more thing that happens to make life bearable for many, many people. I, for one, am still intent on grabbing both my cats, tucks and turtles as the trumpet blows. I will discuss it with customs when I get to the top. But no, there's no way I would allow that. Pets become family if you look after them the way you're supposed to. God bless Keep looking up. We are definitely out of here soon. Shalom.